religious movie. It would show priests sodomizing young uh, altar boys. It would show. Well, you it stop. would show evangelists. <clears throat> Just, just shut up. It would just, show just evangelists stop. stealing from little old ladies. Just stop it. And it would show the Catholic Church hoarding billions of dollars while millions of children died of hunger. Now, hold you know, on. That's religion for you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, listen. You just, hey, you know. It would show people believing in listen, lies. Listen, It would show people living their whole lives under a myth. Um, you're saying God, it, God it and Jesus a, are all myths? All religion is a myth. Oh. All religion, all religion is based on fear and guilt. You see, only a perverted, morbid person could imagine burning in hell forever. These are concepts that only an evil person could have thought of in the first place. Hey, they were all done to hey, control Jim, people. You don't have to worry, to control pal. People. Hey, they lied. Hey. They made up stories Jim, about on people who were wait just a, human Wait a minute, beings. Jim. Just a minute. You don't have to imagine it. You're going to live it. Now I'm going to say something. Right here. Now let me get... Let me get to this main issue that we're supposed to talk about a long time ago. Well, please do it. Uh, the whole reason, out. the whole reason I got you down here, is last you week. You didn't get me down here. I volunteered to come down here so I could t expose the truth to the people out there. The only thing he ever exposes is his big nose. Now, now last week, in, in in Variety magazine, the very respected actor Mickey Rooney wrote an article in Ten Variety. Ten times married. At, Mickey will you Rooney. shut up? Yeah. He took a he, dirty little old man like just, Wally George. I, I'm going to finish this. He he took the film industry to task for the terrible image of religion in films these days. And Mickey Rooney says Hollywood's filmmakers are rendering religion as foolish and religious figures as clowns, buffoons, villains, and con and artists. And they are. Oh. They are. They are. You see, it's old men like Mickey Rooney and Wally George that live in a sick, make-believe world. They're praying to an empty sky. They're hoping something will save them. I've got news for them. We need to stand on our own two feet, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, and be whole, complete, thinking human beings without having to bother with religion. It's false. It should be banned in this country. Oh, unbelievable. Wait a minute. What you just said is religion should be banned in this country. He needs to live in a communist country. Hey, you'd get along very well with Fidel Castro. Why doesn't he go over there? Or Red China. You see, filmmakers are finally telling it like it is. No, they're I not. have evidence that years ago, when they used to make those pro-religious movies, that the film industry was in bed, so to speak, with the religious industry, and that the religions paid the movie makers millions and millions of dollars to be their propaganda you are arm. Full of baloney. Now, now, free thinking, complete thinking no, human beings no. are making films showing Jesus just like he was, a man with heat in his loins and oh, not much sensible to say. You know, I want to tell you something. I am a dedicated Christian and I find you so offensive, I want to throw up all over you. Mickey Rooney, Mickey Rooney goes on to say, and I think this is very true, he says, for a people grounded in the love of God in this country... We are not a people grounded in the love of I'm God. Finished. We're a people Hold grounded in freedom, are we, freedom wait, of wait, thought. Wait, I'll ask the, are, we a, are we a nation grounded in the love of God? No! Okay. No. Hold on. Let me finish the statement. For a people grounded in the love of God, Americans must be very weary of the attitude played by some of these Hollywood filmmakers. Yeah! Now, for example, you don't believe in freedom of expression, do you, Wally? You Those don't believe. Filmmakers should you don't be believe in the, what to about tell the story of religion any way they choose. Oh no, they can't. What can. would you do? Would you ban them from telling the story? I would tell the truth, and the truth is that God reigns, and so does Jesus. Yeah! I am 
I'm there sick and is... tired. I am sick and tired of filthy individuals like you who are trying to brainwash the youth of America into into truly believing that Jesus was a fraud, that God is a fake. I say this is sickness in the United States of America. My name's Luke Mahano, and I'm from Arcadia, California. Yes, and I don't got something to ask you, I got something to tell you, man. All religion, whether you believe in Jesus Christ or not, is good and positive. And that's what yeah. this country grows like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's sick, sick people like you. You're a, you're a bi, you're a trisexual. Trisexual. One more time, one more time. These guys need to wake up and see the truth. A minute. What Hold I've that done up here a minute. Is, is I've taken off. I've taken off. man is a disgrace. He's, a, he's an embarrassment to America, isn't he? And I say, Jesus is not a fraud. And I, in this Christmas season, I can say that we can believe wholeheartedly in Jesus, in God, in religion, because that's what America is all about. I'll be right back.